Hi guys, I would like to make a review on my Brook Range Mountaineering Propel Tent. It's a four season, two person tent. Uh, it's a single wall. It's a fully waterproof. All the seams are fully taped. Um, it uses uh, three poles, one in the middle, and then there's two other poles for each side. So one here and one the other one. Um, the one that I like on this stand is that you can act actually use your uh, walking stick. So as you can see right here, I use my walking poles and there's a holder there and there's like a strap that you wrap it around to hold it in place and also a velcro here to hold the tent walls so i'll show you the other side as well and there's a grommet here that you insert your tricking pole this tent has three main vents there's two on the left side there's one up here and one on the foot part and the other one right over there and this one has actually uh, bag netting it also have a small vent right there which this one doesn't have a netting uh, you have you can put guidelines here and on the foot part and the same on the other side you can pull that so this tent also is not a freestanding tent um, you have to put stakes here stake here a stake here a stake in the middle and here and over here as well and also you have to put a stake here on the vestibule so this is your vestibule right here uh, I like this design because uh, when you open that you have this thing overhanging so if you open the door inside and it was raining so you won't get wet uh, sometimes are it opens right here and you'll get that rain so let's see what's inside so your vents are right over there and there's a vent right there on the foot part um, so as you can see, there's not a lot of room. Uh, it's supposed to be a two-person tent, but for me, uh, it probably probably just enough for one person. The guidelines uh, area there is well reinforced. That's pretty solid. And as you can see, the foot part of my sleeping bag is touching the tent wall so last night there was a lot of condensation up here and my sleeping bag was wet sometimes this one if I turn to the side it touched on the wall here uh, so it gets wet here as well um, it will probably help if I put guidelines on this walls which I didn't do last night and same on the foot part have this tent I would suggest doing that um, that's what it's for anyways there is that thing right there that you can put your um, like a storage bag or a lamp so as you can see as well there's no storage netting on on the sides um, the other thing is to me this is kind of short the tent length 
because look at my the head part it's over this uh, door I am 5'9 and my foot was still touching the the wall on the foot part of the tent um, the other thing as well is there is no netting a bug netting here so if you use it in the summer or fall you can't really open this because uh, you'll have a lot of bugs inside uh, so mainly probably this tent is good for winter so you can open this thing so last night I just opened this one um, this door right here but even though this is opened there was condensation on the visibles as well so it didn't really help that much so I think it's because this is a polyurethane uh, coated nylon and it's waterproof and it's not breathing well so the other thing is this is your small visible um, I have to crawl down uh, to go inside uh, there's not a lot of uh, interior height here so if I'm standing and it, the tent is on the floor it's up to my hip area right here so I have to, to crawl inside you can sit right here in the middle part and you have a little bit of room there but if you go on but as you can see down there there's not really a lot of room only right in the visible part right here so I just want to show you this one this is uh, what they provided um, this pole here so it in, it goes into that grommet and you velcro it here you velcro it here and there's another grommet up there so if you use a walking stick you have this one you insert it on the uh, handle here and the tip of the walking pole goes to the grommet and the same on this velcros it looks like to me when I use this one look at here it, it, it's a little bit more tighter on the other side plus if you uh, put guidelines in the middle it probably gives you uh, more room there it should give you more space there if you get line the foot part as well but the length doesn't fix that it will still touch the your feet will still touch the end there uh, as you compare on the other side which I use a walking pole it's a little bit uh, it's not tight you have a lot of sag So the weight of this tent uh, without the pole is 1 pound and 15 ounces. Um, if you bring your poles, uh, it will weigh 2 pounds and 10 ounces. The tent comes with this, of course the tent. It comes with uh, stakes. You have 8 stakes here, which is actually light. Um, you have this guy line which is also uh, reflective guy lines and you have a guy line tensioners here eight of them and you have a stuff sack for that you have three poles you have these short poles for each side and one right in the middle you have this uh, stuff sack for that poles and the stuff sack for the uh, tent so if you are a skier you can actually use your ski pole here and if you bring your avalanche probe you can replace this with your avalanche probe they designed it for that so it is really a good tent it's I would suggest to use it for the winter season where, where the air is dry uh, so you won't have a, 
a lot of condensation. So that's the mountaineering Brook Range propel tent. <laughs>